everyone. 2K Sports is proud to present today's matchup, bringing you the action from Municipal Stadium. Playing on their home turf, we have the Badgers. They're facing off against the Stallions. I'm Dan Stevens, and with me as always, Peter O'Keefe. Let's have a look at each team's featured performance. John Elway and Shannon Sharp lead the charge for the Stallions. These are two guys that bring greatness to a team. They, they make a good team great. And the rest of the All-Pros in this list are no slouches either. On the other side, not to be outdone, we have just as many stars. Truly, these are a couple of the finest players ever to play the game of football. And the rest of the team ain't half bad either. Okay, Peter, it's time for the coin toss. Let's listen in. Hi, right, John. You guys ready? We picked Kales it in. We we'll take the ball. The Stallions have won the toss and select to receive. Perry kicks off and the game is underway. David Russell got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Stallions will start this drive at their own 25-yard line. It past scrimmage. It's a field chase down at the 44. First and ten. Daniel made his assignment there, roaming quickly through his area of the zone to force that incompletion. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. Decker catches it. Flat is at the 45. Stop at the 47. Rico Decker had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Fields the punt at the 13. Leaps over the tackle. Cut down at the 18. Ray Robinson didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Badgers will start this drive at their own 18-yard line. Gillian throws a bullet to the flat. He connects at the 17, and he stopped right there. Willis Smith read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. And they, they had it all locked up. There. That will bring up second down. Green takes the handoff and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Jason Fletcher read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards in the process. Great effort. That will be two losses in a row. Great read by the D on the last two plays, Dan. <laughs> Gets the sack way back at the 
11. It'll be fourth down. Nolan Cromwell goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be embarrassed. Watch this. Oh yeah, sacks don't get much easier than that. That's going to be the defense's third stop in a row for a loss. Yeah, talk about executing. They didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Johnson gets the snap and punts it away. Milburn all in at the 45. Back down at the 44. Mike Milburn did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Stallions, stalled early last drive, will have to see what happens here. We'll start at the 44-yard line. His number called on first down. Heads left. Tackled at the 38. Johnson at the point. A pick up of six yards on the point. William credited with the tackle. Don't buy that play action fake. Picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. up to punt after the three and out. Ruth takes the snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Anthony Ruth saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Badgers offense takes the field and they will start at their own 20 yard line. Fletcher tackles him for a short loss. Jason Fletcher got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. That's his second tackle so far. Second down with the tight end right. Robbins takes the guard right sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Rich Kelly found a hole in the defense. Let's look at this again because this is what you need out of your passer. Oh, he sees the opportunity and drives the ball home. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Right execution. Didn't get very far on that last play. And he even had the help of some blocking. Well, I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan. But they were, you know, hoping for more. Grabs the bullet, and that's good for a gain of five. Daryl Green had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Killian throws a... It's complete at the 44, hunted down at the 40. 
Rich Killian launches this one perfectly, and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that pass better. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Who slides down at the 35. the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But, you know, Dan, the only thing that's going to grow is this D's morale. They don't allow them to convert, but they did allow them to get very close. Third and short. Let, let's see if they can come up with another big stand. McGee in motion. Green gains three yards, and that will bring up first down. Bill Green got a little help from his friends on that play, Dan. They gave him the space he needed to make the play. Great blocking up front. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. That's good execution. Four receivers line up as the defense settles into a nickel package. Killian throws a bullet to the flat and it's completed at the 25, tackled at the 20. Jerry Perkins snatched it out of the air without any challenge from the defense, Dan. You know, my grandmother could have covered him better. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Ball gets the call on second down and picks up the first down. Fires the and the catch is made at the 11. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Just a fancy little pickup, that's all. Third and three. Down! Set! Killian zings it to the right side, and they convert on third down. Rich Killian plays this one in beautifully. Gotta see it one more time. Right on the money, Peter. He effectively rendered the defense irrelevant by being so accurate. Yeah, they might as well have been 10 yards away. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First down, 14th play of the drive coming up. Four. Johnny Doring keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. They force this play backwards, but it's not going to make too much of a difference. Only second down. Still a lot of options available. Kill 
Julian lobs this to the end zone, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Coach Harris doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. The Badgers are challenging. One of the passes. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Oh, there's the catch. He's in bounds. I think they'll overturn this one. Here's the point after, and it's good. Boots it away. Russell fields it way back at the two. Tackle at the 23. David Russell got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Stallions have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive that starts at their own 23-yard line. Benson gets the cross, passes the line, tackled at the 28. Benson, the five on the Schaefer credited with the tackle. Tosses it down the left side. It's caught at the 46. Finally stopped at the 42. Shannon Sharp has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. He just couldn't get cranked up coming out of the tunnel, waiting until the second quarter to make his first catch. And you know, that's a big confidence builder, Dan. Now he should be able to settle into his game and contribute. Sharp makes the catch on the left seat of the and gets past the markers for a first down. Rifles this one and it's tipped incomplete. Adam Williams turned his hips to get into position and tipped that ball away. Solid coverage. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. Third down, empty backfield. Elway fires over the middle and the completion is made. Show the markers, however. That will bring up fourth down. Jeff Kinney made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They allow a little there, but they do force a fourth down. Way to attack the ball. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. yards out and puts it through it's good 
Henry Eller sends it whizzing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. Eller hits a boomer down the field. Robinson decides to take it out of the end zone. Brought down at the 17. Ray Robinson thought he had some running room from the end zone, but gets planted before he gets to the 20. The Badgers got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 17-yard line. Green, he doesn't carry on first down and rambles for about five. Jerry Felder made a heck of a lead block on that play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. guy for sure. He did a good job getting his hands around the football and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. First down and they line up with three tight ends. Green will get stopped at the line and that will bring up second down. Second and nine. Ball and Kachi catches this one and gets past the markers for a first down. Madre Kachi is wide open on that play. Makes you wonder if the defensive coordinator wants to keep his job in. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Zings it to the right side, and it's got just barely past the markers for a first. Down from the eye. Kachi catches it over the middle, and that's good for six. Zips it to the left sideline, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Michael Lane was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Tigers the dark right. The Badgers take their first time up. Man. <laughs> 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 action and the clock continues to run. <laughs> 
Second down, both tight ends left. yards on the play. We need a big chunk here, boy. up short here and not fourth down 16 yards to go <laughs> Harry boots it from 48 yards out and it's good John Perry really gets the whole ball here and he needed it watch that's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can boot that thing. The field goal will extend their lead some here in the first half. It's still early, but the momentum is definitely behind them now. Harry kicks it away. Russell fields the kickoff at the three. Finally stopped at the 37. David Russell is going to take this well-kicked ball off to the races. He found a seam and some blocking and a few nice moves to boot. Nice return. The Stallions comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before the break. They'll start at their 37-yard line. McDaniel makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Randall McDaniel gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. That had potential for some right. yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Rifles it on the left side. The receptions made. The Stallions take their first time out. John Elway made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Marshall catches the hard throw and they convert on third down. John Elway demonstrated his arm strength back there with a solid cross-field pass. He's been on par with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. First down, the clock is stopped at 29. continue to run. Second and down, two tight ends in the game. <laughs> the Stallions will take a timeout. That's their second. Is the 54-yard attempt and it's good. Henry.
Avery Ellard. Really gets the whole ball here, and he needed it. Watch. That's a powerful kick for three points, my friend. When he needs to, he can foot that thing. The field goal puts them a little closer to tying things up. Yeah, and that's a positive note their coach can point to when he tries to pump up his team at halftime. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Badgers are out in front, 10 to six. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? look at our halftime numbers and look at the difference in time of possession. The Badgers should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Benson would make the first guy miss and then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Midway through the first, Killian went up top on the third down play and he was able to find his man. A 19-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. Now early in the second quarter, the Stallions down by seven. Elway would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. They climb back into the game, now down by four. The Badgers come right back. Perry is going to try to dial one in from very long distance. Plenty of leg to it, though. He's got it. A 49-yard field goal. The Badgers ahead 10-3. to three. After driving 26 yards on five plays, Ellard would be summoned for the long field goal try, and his kick would be right through. A 55-yard field goal. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Badgers are holding on to a lead 10 to 6. All right, Dan, nice work. The Badgers will receive to start the second half, and they currently enjoy a small lead 10 to 6. Now, let's get to the game. the second half kickoff away. Robinson fields the second half kickoff at the one. The 21. Ray Robinson is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Badgers bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 21-yard line. Killian unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Flag down on the play. Let's get the call. Ron Scott clearly held his man back there. Offensive holding was the right call. You ain't playing like yourself. First in a long time. Green catches the bullet out left and is at the 15. Right down at the 20. Paul Green played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Good job to pick up some lost yardage and get themselves out of a hole. Still a ways to go, but a heck of a lot closer than before. Throws a heater and is caught at the 26. Brought down hard at the 31. Madre Caccia saw that he was singled out there and did just enough in that pattern to gain separation and haul that one in. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Green takes it. Converts the third down. Daryl Green stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, they put it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. That's good execution. Game's five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Yeah. 
Second and five. Ball at the 39 yard line. Goes in motion. Killian fires this one over the middle and they can't connect. Incomplete. Kerry Ball looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. Johnson gets the snap and hits a beauty. Let the pound bounce for a touchback. Ron Johnson saw his kid go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Stallions will start the drive at their own 20-yard line. Elway rifles it out left side and the ball is caught at the 26. Tackled at the... John Elway found a hole in the defense. Let's look at this again because this is what you need out of your passer. Oh, he sees the opportunity and drives the ball home. Dan, I I'm seeing a lot of short throws, but overall there's really not much to show for it. Good catch, solid throw, but the ball just isn't moving far enough to make a difference. Second down and they line up with three tight ends. Adam Williams targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Benson takes it off the cross and passes the line. Jason Benson took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. Nice play, and they will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. Let's go! First and ten. Was all thumbs. That one bounced right out of the mitt. Third drop of the game for him, Peter. And look, the coach looks absolutely frustrated. Oh, yeah, Dan. Mistakes can kill what you're trying to accomplish on offense. No doubt about it. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Elway just rifles this one, and it falls in the Freddie Johnson has this one in his hands, and then... Oh, drops it. This is getting ugly. That is his fourth whiff of the game. They may want to rotate someone else in there, giving this receiver time to regain his confidence. Slides down at the 43. First down. Elway zips it to the left sideline and it's tipped. Incomplete. Brian Williams turned his hips to get into position and tipped that ball away. Solid coverage. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Jones gives it his all on this play, Dan, but it is too little too late. They pick up a few yards and a new set of downs. 
Well, he forced him out of bounds, but not before the marker. He should be more aware of where he is on the field. That's his second tackle so far. Benson gets the handoff. And hits the right. Tackle at the 38. Jason Benson played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Benson carries it for the third time in a row and barely picks up the first down. Jason Benson took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, you got to know where you are in the field at all times. He knew where he needed to get, and he got it. for a first down. Offsides, number 71, defense. The penalty is declined. Keep it going. Ball at the 17 yard line. Jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got seven tackles. Chad Marshall adds a bunch to that completion. Watch the replay. There's the grab, and he just takes off. He just loves to see those little white lines go by underneath his feet. Peter, no one seems to be able to stop this guy on the left side. They found him a few times over there. Yeah, he's been running sharp routes, but it makes you wonder about the coverage over to that area. the extra point and it's good. Ellard sends it downfield. Big run out of it. Same note of a touch. McGee 
didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Brian McGee ran a post pattern on that last one, but the ball eluded him. No catch. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Third and four. Throws a heater right sideline and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Michael Lane anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with Ruddle to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Johnson gets the snap and hits a beauty. And Johnson saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Stallions will start a drive with the lead for the first time this game. We'll begin at their own 20-yard line. Elway rifles it out left side and it's tipped. Incomplete. Randall McDaniel came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Yet another big play by this defense. That was their fifth batted ball today. Yeah, you can see them start to anticipate the path of the throw the minute the quarterback winds up. Russell makes the catch out of the first and is after 25, and he stopped right there. David Russell saw that he was singled out there and did just enough in that pattern to gain separation and all that one in. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that secondary. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Elway throws a bullet to the flat and the ball is caught at the 29 and he stopped right there. Riddell will get credited with the tackle on the force. It'll be fourth down. Adams Brigham pushed his man off the field with a great defensive effort back there. They got a few yards, but not the first. They let the ball move close to the first, but they could not let it pass. That's a great job holding him back, Dan. Fourth and short. Ruth gets the ball and punts it away. Robbins punts at the 28. Stop at the 31. The Badgers take the field, and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as we start it at their 31-yard line. Rick gets the call on first down, and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second down, one man down. Perkins reels in the football and is well past the markers for a first down. Jerry Perkins is all alone out there, and he takes full advantage. Where's the coverage? Well, that's good concentration, because sometimes the most open looks are the easiest to drop. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Makes his fourth carry of the game and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Kerry Ball used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were you know, hoping for more.
No dice, and the falls incomplete. Brian McGee is showing signs of frustration, Dan, and the defensive players are talking in his ear. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Killian gets all of his arm in this pass, and it's knocked away from the receiver. Jerry Perkins gains a little separation right off the line. He cuts after a few yards. Ah, oh, but no connection could be made. Incomplete. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Got a hand on it to tip it away. They force a turnover on downs. Jay Waters shows swivel hips and burst to get in position for the denial. That takes instincts and awareness. You, you just can't coach. Peter, that seemed like an odd situation to go for it on fourth down. What do you think? Well, it was very... Gutsy, but maybe they should have used their heads and not their digestive system on that one. How? How is that? You know, guts. Gutsy! Gutsy! Digestive. digestive. Got it. All right. The Stallions take the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? We'll find out as they start this drive at the 49 yard line. Elway throws a bullet to the flat, and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Second down, five yards to go. Completes a nice pass, past the D on this play. It's worth another look here. Oh, it's all about accuracy, Dan, and there was only one guy covering him on that one, so it makes it an easy catch. Great pass, Peter, and he's having a terrific day so far. You bet so far he's got 183 yards and no interceptions. Elway lets it go here, and the catch is made at the 11, and he stopped right there. It will be first down. Second down and less than a yard. Well, the defense has its hands full then. Do they protect against the run or try to neutralize this passing threat? Elway throws a bullet to the flat and it's tipped. Incomplete. Down and the field goal unit is on the field. Eller from 19 yards and puts it through. It's good. Henry Eller has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. 
Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. Booms one downfield. Robinson is coming out with it. Stop at the 17. Ray Robinson decided not to down it, but couldn't even make it to the 20, which may affect his Christmas gift from his special teams coach. The Badgers were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their own 17-yard line. Killian throws a beauty to the right side, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Malefu Diedrich right quickly off the snap and stuck to the receiver like molasses. No room for the ball to be squeezed in there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Madre Caccia sneaks across the field and looks open for a moment, but he doesn't get a handle on the toss. Wow, you don't see that very often. His first drop of the game. Well, Dan, usually he's Mr. Dependable out there, and you have to wonder if he heard some footsteps. Third... Down and four wideouts in the game. Killian throws a bullet and it's tipped. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Malefu Diedrich couldn't get all the way positioned for the interception, but still managed to graze the ball with his fingertips. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Milburn feels the deep punt at the 37. Tackled at the 38. The Stallions will start this drive at their 38-yard line. Benson, stand off and almost gets back to the line of scrimmage, but not quite before he's taken down. Dave Francis got a great jump on the play and brings the ball carrier down for a loss in the backfield. Nice defensive stop. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Benson will get stopped at the line, and that will bring up third down. Jason Benson stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. <coughs> Benson gets the call. And gets taken down well short of the marker. That will bring up fourth down. Jeb Schaefer managed to take him down before he got to the markers, but whew, it was close. That's his second tackle so far. Ruth takes the snap and punts it away. Robinson catches it at the 14. Dragged down at the 16. A return or three yards on the play. Ball will be placed on the 16 yard line. The Badgers take the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 16 yard line. Killian zips it to the left sideline and it's tipped. 
Incomplete. Leifu Diedrich came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That was the fourth time they've swatted the ball out of the air and the offense is looking frustrated. The D is showing excellent fundamentals right here. Man, we need more out of you. Ball catches it in the flat and picks up four on the play. Terry Ball fought for a few extra yards after making the catch. You know, I like to see that in a player, that drive to get every last ounce out of the play. The short game is working okay for them. It's been methodical, but they are moving the ball. Yeah, they need to strike deep at some point, though, to loosen up that second. Killian uncorks this to the left sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Jerry Perkins has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man. First down, one man down. Incomplete. Rich Killian threw it short on that last one, but the ball didn't find an owner. Incomplete. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain had they completed it anyway. Second down. The clock is stopped at 1.56. Throws a big high lob, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Nolan Cromwell did a beautiful job on that last play, covering right. the post route. That pass never had a chance. Incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Perkins grabs the fastball over the middle, and he's looking for room. The Badgers take their first time up. the call on second down and heads wide left touchdown that drive qualifies as the stride ridiculously long lasting drive of the game the badgers had the aerial assault firing on all cylinders on that possession dan their quarterback consistently hit the receivers for big games that drive showed some holes in the defensive secondary too harry lines up for a one-point lead To point and it's good. Harry kicks it away. Russell fields it way back at the two. 
22. David Russell got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Stallions start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 101. Elway throws this one over the middle, and it's caught to 46, and finally stopped at the 50. We have got... Jason Benson played it smart there, stopping the clock by heading to the sideline. That's a good play. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down. The clock is stopped at 52. Elway this one over the middle, and the catch is made, and the clock continues to wind down. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Fourth down, and they're going for it. Elway zings it to the right side, and it falls incomplete. They will turn the ball over on down. Adams Brigham gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. Oh! That's got to be a crushing blow for this team. They needed to get into field goal range, and they just couldn't do it. Oh, it's a tight one, Dan. Something tells me it's too soon to be picking a winner here. the game will start at their 42 yard line Green carries it past script to this first down. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Green. <laughs> the Stallions take a timeout. That's their final one. Johnson lines up to punt after the three and out. Johnson gets the snap and punts it away. Milburn fields the punt at the 13. Tackled at the 18. Mike Milburn didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Stallions will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 12. First, the clock continues to tick down. down. And 
And that is going to do it for this one. The Badgers come out on top 17 to 16. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. So, the ball game is over. Let's take a quick look back at how it went with our post-game show. We'll start this one off late in the third quarter. Marshall ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. A 20-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Stallions take their first lead of the game and are now up by three. The Badgers, now in the fourth quarter, Killian would find his target on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. Still early in the fourth quarter, the Stallions up by three. Elway would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Badgers, late in the fourth quarter, Perkins came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 50-yard play that set up a home team touchdown. The Badgers leading 17 to 16. Elway would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Unfortunately, they couldn't capitalize on the big play and they turned the ball over on down. Last play of the game, all at their own 18. Elway would find his target on this one. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. And that's where we'll have to leave this one. The Badgers squeaked out a win, 17 to 16. Let's take a moment to recognize the 2K Sports player of the game. Jerry Perkins proved once again why he's one of the best. What a performance, and I have no doubt that this isn't the last time he'll showcase his talents. We'll be hearing much more from this guy as time goes on. For my part, 